I've got numbers, I'm just getting on with it. Please do attention to receive the manera and to be long better you. Thank you, Madam the Moderator, for giving me the floor. Your Excellency, the Minister of Secondary Education, distinguished guests, my co-panelists and panelists from the other side, we receive my sincere greetings. As they already said, my name is Lisu Emangela Ansimoli. I'm a student of GDHS in Long Brazzaville from Nidora Dwala Twazia in the class of bilingual form two. And if I'm standing here today, it's to answer to the question that brings us here. Are you for or against the motion? I am perfectly against the motion. Why? Because first, before starting, I will try to correct some mistakes I noticed from my from the panelists on the other side. I will start with the first speaker. She did the millennium actually make the facility before it's in the pool and the energy to communicate avec d'autres. Quand tu déjà demandé un jour, avant la communication des anglais et des français, quelle est la langue que nous parlions afin de nous comprendre Nous nous parlions bien une langue. Et 
ans, voire même 98, mais depuis l'arrivée du bilinguisme, ce pourcentage a chuté de 60%. Ça veut dire que le taux de personnes qui parlent encore la langue maternelle est égal à 36%. C'est une chose qui n'est pas normal pour un pays multilingue. Nous devons normalement avoir 95% des personnes qui parlent leur langue maternelle et les 5% nous pouvons estimer que ce sont encore des enfants ou des bébés. Alors, I stand against the fact that the effective promotion of official bilingualism is a window to cultures and technologies, a human capital development tool for the emergence of Cameroon by 2025. Thank you. <laughs> Yes.